we take a look at the tail of the tape. Villafort versus McCray. Two-year age different, one-inch height advantage to Villafort. And you can see how close they are in weight. A half a pound advantage at weigh-in to Danila Villafort as we set it inside the cage. That is where the voice of the World Series of Fighting is standing by to give our official introductions. Here is Tim Hughes. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, this middleweight matchup scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the World Series of Fighting. Introducing first, standing in my left and fighting out of the blue corner, he is a wrestler with good submission skills, trained in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, undefeated as an amateur, eight and four as a pro, standing six feet even and weighing in at 185 pounds. He trains at Team Ricardo Almeida and is here tonight from Tom's River, New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen, Chris. Savage McCray! His opponent tonight fights from the red side of the cage and has fought on some of MMA's biggest stages. Will make his first WSOF appearance tonight. A Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt with a record of 13 wins and four losses. Five by KO, five submissions. He stands six feet one inches tall and he weighed in at 185 and one half pounds. Training with the Black Zillions and fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Here is Danilo. Your referee for this contest, Kevin Mulhall. Okay, fighters, are you ready? Back up, back up. Are you ready? The fight! Here we go, the final fight on the undercard here in quick action right off the bat from Chris McCray. Villafort, I always thought in the beginning when I saw him fighting, I even thought he fought in the IFL all the way back. I thought this guy was going straight all the way to the top. If he puts everything together, very powerful striker, very powerful on the ground. Very active in the clinch, which is very smart. Those body shots, you know, nice knee there, using just the hip flexor, which is a very smart thing to do. A lot of guys will teach you to throw your hips in, but it's stupid. It's like you're closing the distance. Then you hit your opponent with your thigh instead of a knee. Never a good thing. And those little punches, man, if you hit with one of those shots, the moment he's breathing in, that's a big trouble. To do five thousand feet push up a sit up today doesn't help. McCray showing his strength, getting Villafort to the ground quickly. Big power there. A lot of cross strength. See the difference in knees, the way they throw it. She fell for a throwing one, but then McCoy just, you know, gives a little snap to it. Look at that. Jab toss. Villafort tries to hold that leg, but it's going to be hard to keep it there. Drake can pull it out, but any time he wants, he's going to slip on his right hip a little bit so he can slide it out. Then again, if he does that, he might be reversed, so that's something that Philippot might set it up. Oh, this is North Cray. I don't know if you want to go down this road. Those up kicks probably Villafort. Yeah. Does he mean offer up anything? Yeah, and it, it was smart for a moment. I thought, is he going to let him yeah. stand back up? Which is not a smart thing because Villafort's got the reach of his here. It has been pretty great. Surprising, he's been much more active in this fight as we approach two and a half minutes to go in round one. This one's scheduled for three. Villafort comes from a family of how many brothers? A lot. Sixteen. <laughs> Point right now. One sister. They tried to go for that girl. 
Danilo Villafort, who really ended that first round with a fury. Chris McCray able to survive, and now it's McCray coming out like he did in round number one, pushing the pace. Yeah, he wants to close that distance. He doesn't want another high kick to the face. Villafort tries that trip every time just to watch out. And McCray's still going to find a counter for that. At the moment, he puts his hips in there, but McCray can't put him on his back, push him on his back. This will be done in judo a lot. Famous one to Rousey. You can't make a mistake with her because you will be on your back. She's really good at this. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. That's what I meant. Take your time here. You go for a hip throw. There is a counter for you. You got to put your hand in his back, but it's not too hard to explain. So I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Here. Good job here. Yeah, yeah. Four, put him in the guard. So at least he can weather the storm a little bit. I wonder if Chris McCray calling for him to posture here. Elbows back. He likes to call. Yeah, and you know with him with the shorter reach on the ground now, it favors McCray. Because those punches travel longer than Villafort's still are. Villafort, though, had a really sneaky yeah. arm bar attack in round number one, and he might go for that again. See McCray, he's stretching with Cray out, and he does that so he can't sit up. And if he can't sit up, well, he can't push, he can't be a power. Right, now he goes arm bar again. Let's see, as soon as he shoots with the left arm, He's gonna go for a right arm bar attack on the frame. Well, these short shots to the rib cage area of the new little floor just don't look very menacing in that, but as you know, tomorrow morning he's gonna feel those. Yeah. You know, every time when you call for somebody makes a joke, <laughs> you say, stop, don't make me laugh. Stay busy. Both men taking quick, short shots, trying to inflict some damage. And they're working. These guys are working hard. These are no low steps. Arm bar attempt again, maybe triangle if it doesn't work. Up oh, goes for the other arm, but we'll fly from there. And if you can make the switch, leg lock attempt, everything is a for everything else. 
Fishing for anything and they go back to a close score to Villefort. Dois minutos e meio. It's almost like he was looking easy for a knee by there. Um, by attempt again coming up here. We'll fish the control. Gonna keep him closed. That would be a very smart thing actually to do right now. And if he doesn't begin, I want to explain to you what that exactly is. Otherwise, it's very hard to explain. Nice pass here. He's gonna watch out for a reversal here. Villafort, but now the cage is there to prevent him from getting reversed. That's the problem. Oh, does it the other way? He's got to skip the back door. Can he get out? Ooh. He's got one hook in, two hooks in. And now McCray's going for a body triangle here. Locking it up. He might have this. No, it's not. Villafort doing a smart thing, though, dropping his knee and grabbing that wrist control. Making sure he cannot slide underneath the jaw. This is very important. He can roll now into a, a side joke if he would do that. If Villefort's going to roll to the left, he's going to roll himself into the side joke. Oh, not anymore. But it's very hard, of course, with the body trying to lie. And especially that left foot from the prey of the knee tank. That's going to prevent him from rolling to the left. See McRae softening him up with punches and hoping to create an opening so he can slide the knee on the, the arm of the knee. Oh! Powerful yeah, foot on the stand. comes right back. This is a fight here. I tell you what, this has got to be candidate for fight of the night if we go into 30 seconds here and this is just round two. Look at here. Villafort now boom passing like it was nothing. He's got to watch out. He's got to climb high on the chest so there's no leverage here. Power shots. And now he's going for a rear naked choke himself. Ray had no choice but Ten to get up the back. And once again, he's going to try to survive round number two like he did round one. And we will go to a third and final round when we return to an Ombar attempt. Oh! Man! This round, to me, it was like it was only two minutes. It was a super exciting run. I could not believe when I heard the 10 second uh, warning. Round number three, the third and final round. It's Chris McCray on the right side of your screen, Danilo Villafort on the left. And both of these guys, I'm impressed with the cardio because they have gone to war for the absolute 10 minutes of the first two rounds. Double jab there. Ah, é. Ah, é. Ele vai dar as costas. Como no cotovelo que ele vai dar as costas. 